Okay, we're going to have a look at how we would um, download Git and install it on an Apple Mac. Now we've gone to the Git download page and um, the address for that is across the bottom of the screen. Once we've gone there, we'll probably sniff out what operating system you're using. Maybe you'll have the latest um, version you can download. Um, if I go to here for Mac OS X, it'll come up to the page and it'll say uh, starting to download. But what is the case is sometimes that doesn't happen. So you will need to click on download manually. Now it does have um, certainly a new um, version. So you can actually click here and it will take you to another page which is a little bit more complicated because it's on the Git um, page. And if you know how to use that, then that's fine. Um, it, if not, I would suggest you just click here where it says click to download manually. Okay, it'll take you to SourceForge. There'll be a little bit of a delay because it's got adverts on it, but you'll see the seconds clicking down and then you'll see it loading or downloading down the bottom here. I'm using Chrome and it will start to download. Now, once it starts to download, then we can open it up and install it. Okay, once it's finished the download, I'll just click on it and it'll start to open it up. Um, once it's done, it pops up here with the open folder where it's downloaded here. It's popped it up over here. I'll just close down the browser in the background so we can see this. In here, there's a package to install it. There's a readme file, which um, gives you lots of information about how to install it, um, upgrading it, um, any of the issues and also how to un uninstall it and other information. So I suggest you, you know, read through that. Some of the information I'm going to give to you now, um, some of it you might need. So I'll just close that down. Then it's got one to do with um, a setup for the path for non-terminal programs. Um, there's the uninstall uh, .sh shell, which we're going to have a little look at in a minute. Okay, so once that's the case, we've gone through and made ourselves familiar with those files in there. I'll just double click on the package install. I'll click continue. It tells us how big it's going to be. Uh, you'll need to put in your password for your um, login. Uh, may not come up if you don't have one. And then I click install software. It'll go all the way through, write the files, do all the stuff, and I just go close. Okay, now we will need to use the terminal. Now my terminal is down here and I can open it up from here, terminal. But if you haven't got it in the dock and it might be the case that it's in your application folder hidden somewhere, I go up to the search and I start to type in terminal. And it comes up and prompts it or you can type in it all, just hit enter and it opens up my terminal. Now, if you're not familiar with the terminal, terminal is many moons ago is that's how they used to operate computers by just typing things into a command line. And that's what we're going to do here. So it isn't what you get is a GUI, everything needs to be typed in. Now, you can change the shells here. Um, if I go up to where it's got shell, new tab, Say for example, usually as a default, you'll have basic and it'll come up here and it's got basic. Um, go back to shell, new tab. You can bring it up other different types of um, shells. Uh, this is just its appearance. So I'll go back to shell. Uh, my one I sort of like, my favorite is the homebrew shell. And there it is. Okay, so I'll close down the other tabs and just leave that one there. Now, if I want to make the text a bit bigger, I would press the command key and plus, and I'll just, it makes the window bigger as well, and also takes it in. If I want to make it smaller again, I can press command and um, minus. So command plus makes it bigger, command minus makes it smaller. So I can just see that text on there, okay? Now, it comes up here and this is one of the last time I logged in and gives the time. It will say the name of my machine and then it will say the name of the login after the tilde uh, sort of um, uh, mark here. And then it will have a dollar sign. Now, I will need to know 
say for example if I want to know if um, git is already on here I can just type in git do a space two minuses and then type in version and hit enter now what it's got here now it's, it's coming along and saying git 2.4.3 now it might be the case when you um, install um, a newer version you may come in here and when you do git minus minus version it comes up with an older version it might come up with 1.7 and you're like uh oh, i've just installed 2.4 what's going on so if that's the case say for example you know it's fine here because you know i've i deleted any older versions before i did that but say for example that isn't the version i want you know that's an older version and i've installed it and you know it hasn't taken you have to physically remove the old version and, and reinstall a new one so lucky enough in the the in here where we downloaded um git we have this um uninstall shell and all you do is you click on that and drag it up here and drop it just after the dollar sign and it comes up and it knows where the install has taken place and what it's all called and all I need to do now is once I've dragged and dropped it here is hit the enter or return and it'll come up and give me a warning whoa you 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 know you want to de you know uninstall it is that right are you sure type yes if that's the case so I type yes and hit enter it wants me to give the password for the login which I put in then it'll go through and it will say forgot package go all the way through and say uninstall right now if i want to know it has uninstalled it i'll just type in git space minus minus uh, version enter or return and it comes up with no such file or directory so that is really really good because that means yeah it's gone you can't find it so it has uninstalled it and all I'll do here in the terminal, I want to get rid of all this. I'll just type in clear and enter or return, and it gets rid of it. Now, that's a good thing about using the terminal um, and on Apple Mac. If I just um, scroll up, you'll see, you know, it's all still there, all the stuff I've had. Um, but what it's done is just give me a fresh space in my terminal. It might be the case if you're using something like git bash um, on, a, on windows that that might be the case it allows you to do that okay so what i'll do now is go all the way through the process again i'm going to double click on here the package click continue wants me to know where i'm going to install it i can click it or it'll come up i click continue i click install again type in the password for the login it'll go all the way through tell me it's successful i click cancel uh, or close to that and what i'll do now in my fresh terminal window i'll type in again git minus minus after the space and type in version and hit enter or return voila it comes up with git version 2.4.3 that is brilliant so that's the version I want and I know git is installed so that's as simple as that you need to download it from the git download page you need to um, install the package then test for the version if you find you've got an older version you need to um, open up your um, folder that you use to download uh, drag and drop the uninstalled shell and then enter go through the password get rid of it and then reinstall it again and then it should correspond to the version you downloaded so you're good to go that's how to download and get git going on a apple mac